Today we're going to completely revamp this room and turn it into a 15 year old girl's bedroom. My granddaughter picked this paint color when we moved in six years ago and I think it's time to update it to something a little bit more modern. She has absolutely no idea that I'm changing her bedroom so I do have her surprise reaction at the end of this video. Stay tuned and watch all the way to the end to see how she liked it or didn't like it. If sped up videos aren't your thing, you probably aren't going to like this one. I worked on this room several days over the Memorial Day weekend and I couldn't fit it all in in real time just to be able to show you everything that I did. And this video really and truly is every single thing that I did start to finish. Day one was the Friday night before I started painting. I cleared the room of everything that could be moved without taking it apart. The desk, the dresser, and cube storage are pretty empty because my granddaughter doesn't live here anymore, so that makes them easy to move, but that bed was super heavy. I'm still recovering from a broken rib that happened three weeks ago, and I definitely felt it a few times when pushing and pulling all this furniture. Day two, there were a few things that I couldn't get off the wall, like that shelf and the curtain rod, so my husband's gonna come and help me take care of that. But first, I'm gonna take off all of the wall plates and everything that I didn't get to last night. I also have a helper here that's collecting all the screws in a bag for me. Okay, pop it, open. Now pop it. Good job, thank you. Normally you don't see my husband in my videos because when I take on these projects I want to do them by myself and honestly it's my YouTube channel and you're not here to see him do these projects. You're here to see my beautiful face. But this is one that was pretty big and I couldn't do it myself so he's helping me with painting the ceiling and honestly I think that was probably the hardest part. When we moved in six years ago, the entire house was remodeled and so every single room was painted. My granddaughter did choose this color, so I don't know the name of the wall color, but it is a Sherwin-Williams paint. I'll see if I can find it in the garage and list it in the comments if you're interested in this color. It's kind of bright though, so <laughs> fair warning. But the walls and the ceiling are the same color, but the ceiling is just 50%. So whatever the wall color is, the ceiling is 50% of that color and it's also a flat paint. Shortly after Christmas, I started collecting all the stuff that I was going to change in her bedroom and I've been storing it in the guest bedroom closet. Now remember, she doesn't know anything about this, so every time she was here, I had to make sure it was hidden from her and I couldn't keep it in her room. So while my husband is painting the ceiling in the other room, I'm just collecting everything that I'm going to put back in this room once it's finished being painted. The new color of the ceiling and the walls is going to be bare blank canvas. We're using a flat paint for the ceiling and eggshell for the walls. I started cutting in around the baseboards and forgot my paint clothes so there's a quick change right there. And I almost thought for like one second that I didn't need to put on my paint clothes because I was just doing the cutting in part here and I wasn't doing the trim but then I remembered that's a bad idea because when I painted my hallway I learned a lot of valuable lessons when I did those doors in the hallway. <laughs> I definitely recommend paint clothes. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh. 
I really wanted to take this TV mount off of the wall and not just paint around it. But when we moved in, it was actually installed into the studs. So I don't want to take them out of the studs and then drill new holes into the studs. And I'm going to be living here for a long time and I don't really care about painting around it. And the TV is going to hide any imperfections that you're going to see from me painting around it. So I opted not to take it down. Once I finished with the cutting in around the entire perimeter of this room, I went back and did it a second time because I noticed that this blue paint was showing through a little bit and I wanted to make sure I didn't have to do it a third time. And I definitely didn't want to have to go up and down the ladder like this again after I painted the walls. And then I also wanted to paint these corner edges here where there's going to be an accent wall in the back. And I have a super awesome painting hack to get crisp lines on a texture wall so stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that it's funny as I was touching every corner crack and crevice of this room how much paint I found drift and imperfections I found in the cutting in when we moved in we had a professional painter paint our entire house like that's what he did for a living he's a professional painter and the amount of drips I saw on this window there's paint on the glass on the actual window frame there is paint dripped everywhere also when you buy bare paint it has that little spout that goes in the top make sure you get that from the paint center I didn't do that so yeah it would be really handy to have that. The first roller handle that I use for painting is the same one that my husband used to do the ceiling and I broke it within like 10 seconds of painting. So I went out in the garage and I found this one. It actually is adjustable so you can make it short or long and that came in super handy especially when I was painting behind the bed and I didn't want to move the bed so I just made the handle shorter to get to the parts I needed it to be short and then I could twist it make it longer and it was awesome. This is one of several times I bent over and my booty bumped the wall. Remember that painting hack I mentioned earlier? Here's what you're going to do to get a crisp line on a textured wall. So as you'll see here in just a second, my walls are very textured. I've painted the wall the night before so the paint is completely dry. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the corner on the wall where the dried paint is. Then I'm going to take the original wall color on the side of the accent wall and I'm going to paint that tape so that any bleed through of color is going to be the wall paint where the tape is. So the tape is on the white side. I paint over the tape with that same color and then I go in right behind it after it's dried for a few minutes and then I paint the accent wall color which is bare limousine leather. So then when you remove the tape you're going to see there's a crisp line with no bleed through or if there was bleed through it's going to be the opposite wall color not the accent wall color. You'll see here in a second what I mean about the crisp lines when I pull that tape off. A drinking red one by an open fire make love
change your mind For love or pity, let me know Not now, now Cause your love made me, made me go blind What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back I wish I could link this fandelier for you guys because I'm telling you the output of air this thing gives is incredible. Look at this. Look at how much air is flowing and blowing in this room. I don't think my granddaughter has ever even used the fan on high because of the amount of air it blows. This is medium. While that black paint is drying, I'm gonna spray paint her gold mirror and her pink trash can. Now, I'm not the best spray painter, and I'm trying to plan ahead here. Actually, I think I've only ever spray painted one other thing in my life. So I'm gonna tape off the mirror as closely as I can, and then I'm just covering the rest of it up with a paper bag. I have absolutely no idea if I need primer or not, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Memorial Day weekend here in Texas, it was about 90 degrees, so by the time I got one side of this painting done, the other side was already dry. Pretty much there was zero wait time in between the time I primed and started actually painting because it was already dry. After I had done all of that cutting in on the day before and then all the rolling and painting on this particular day, you can see here I'm like using two hands to push the trigger on this spray paint because my arm and my wrist was so sore and so tired I could barely push the trigger on the spray can. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? Now, if I was smart or a better spray painter, I would have sprayed the inside of this trash can first. But like I said, I'm not the best spray painter, so I did not think that far ahead. But next time, I'll know. But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and Okay, are you guys ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Look at the screen. Watch how crisp and perfect these lines are. I'm telling you, this paint hat works and I recommend it 1 million percent. I don't need to go over old and useless words. What you said, what I said, that my the only paint bleed is right here, and it's because there's caulk on the baseboard. That's the only paint bleed through I had on this entire wall. The entire thing came out perfect using that hack. On the underneath of this tape, as I'm pulling it off, you can see that there's white spots every now and then. Had I not painted over that side with the opposite wall color, every single one of those white spots that you see would have been black paint on that white wall.
We got new carpet in all of the bedrooms about two years ago and I have never cleaned the carpet in my granddaughter's bedroom since it was installed. So I'm going to finally take care of that, make sure her carpet is nice and clean and smelling good. I used the Hoover carpet cleaner and a little teaspoon of Thieves so that it smells super great. We are in the home stretch guys. We are on day four now. I'm going to start moving all of the furniture back in. I'm going to reset the room and add all of the new decor pieces. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the I really didn't want to move this bed up against the wall, so I'm going to try to leave it a little bit away so that I can still get back there to make the bed. I just hate a bed against the wall like that, but unfortunately in this room, it's only like a 11 by 12 room. Our bedrooms are not that big. My house was built like back in the 1980s. So, you know, they have what I call normal room sizes. They're just like 11 by 12. So that doesn't leave a lot of room for all of the big furniture that we buy nowadays. screwdriver what? Yeah, right there on the floor screwdriver yeah screwdriver what? it's red and yellow you were red and yellow yes the red and yellow screwdriver i found it yes thank you you're a good helper i found yellow can you help me do that thank you so much you are the best helper like them I'm not broken, not broken, not broken When I took down the curtain rod, the picture ledge, the shelves, the mirror, everything in her room, I left the anchors in the walls because I knew I was just going to hang them right back in the same spot. So that made it super easy to rehang them because I'm just using the same anchors, the same screws as the ones I took out. I originally was not going to repaint these Ikea little spice things that she uses to, well, when she was here, she used to put like her makeup and stuff like that on these shelves. They were originally white. They're normally like a natural wood color. My husband painted them white when we did her room before, but I had black spray paint, so I decided to paint them black, and I am so glad that I made that decision. You guys, this is the very first time my flawless black doors have gotten scratched. I was so sad about this. Here, come over on this side. Okay. Right here, push. It's so heavy. It's very heavy. Leaving me on the spot so confused Oh baby Tasting so sweet, acting so rude 
The very first time I painted these doors, which was over a year ago, I didn't sand them, prime them, I didn't do anything, so they scratched very easily. I quickly figured out that a black Sharpie pretty much blends in the paint color pretty easily, so instead of grabbing the paint to repaint these tiny little scratches, I'm just using the Sharpie pen and they're good as new. But I do have to say, if you watched both of my painting videos, the first time I did it with all the mistakes, and then the second time I fixed the mistakes, they have 100% held up with zero scratches until, of course, I slammed this dresser into the door. I mean, obviously, that's going to scratch it. This is a 12 inch memory foam mattress that I got for my granddaughter when she was two years old and got her very first big girl bed. So I have a new one. It's actually at my daughter's house that I bought for her guest bedroom and she never used. But the weekend that we did this painting, it was raining. So my husband couldn't go and get the bed. So for now, I'm just taking her old mattress and putting it back on her bed. But I do actually have a brand new one that's gonna go in her room very soon. What? Push. Need help. Thank you. That's better. You're an excellent helper. You mean everything to me. Let me love you on the inside. Love you on the inside. You guys remember the TV in the living room I told you I replaced for no darn good reason because I thought it was going bad, but it actually was the adapter I had connected to it. Anyway, I now have a 65 inch TV that I don't really need, so I am going to take the TV from the living room, put it in the guest bedroom, and then take the 50 inch TV from the guest bedroom and put it in my granddaughter's bedroom to replace the 32 inch TV that she used to have. I used to have a white gorilla kind of almost like silicone but not really but when Mariah and her mom were staying here she of course did makeup and nails and things like that on this desk so I wanted to protect it and the white one had been on there a couple years and it got kind of grody so I bought this one from Amazon and it's like a desk mat like a computer mat I guess sort of thing but it kind of is like leather so I cut it to the size of the desk to make the top of it look black and actually really love how it turned out it's like super good quality so i'm really glad i got it to put on the top of her desk and kind of add some black accents back into this super white room that picture on the tv is iliana's mom with mariah iliana is the almost three-year-old that you see in quite a lot of my videos I learned a valuable lesson using command strips to hang heavy pictures, so I definitely don't do that anymore. No matter what they say the weight restrictions or requirements are, I only use it for like a $5 mirror that I don't care about. Nobody told me to settle down. 
today is the last day and I'm just adding some of the finishing touches to her room because she's coming over today thinking that she's here to pick up her iPhone. My whole point in getting her to come over for the iPhone is really for her to just see the room because it's going to be a total surprise. I bought this dandelion print off of Etsy specifically for this location, but once I hung it and I put the lamp in place, the lamp covered up the entire dandelion and you couldn't see it at all. So I went into the guest bedroom, grabbed a photo off the wall there, which is like a bigger frame and a bigger uh, picture, so with the light in front of it, you can still see what it is. And I mean, I wasn't 100% on board with it. I thought about just reprinting the dandelion, but ended up just putting it on the other wall, and I think this worked out great. And also, she loved that feather print. She's the one that actually chose it for the guest bedroom. Here's another hack that I don't know if anybody's I'm sure somebody else has discovered this, but when I went to pull the command strip off the back of the door, it broke, so I couldn't get it off anymore. I couldn't pull the strip to remove the rest of the little hanging thing. So I was gonna use a screwdriver and pry it off, but then I thought, hmm, dental floss, and it worked perfectly. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of color back into her room. Some of the things that I took out of her room, I did not put back because she didn't use them when she lived here and she definitely doesn't use them now not living here. So I'm just taking all of the things that I think that she'll use on a regular basis and putting them back and then I'll let her go through these boxes and decide what she wants in her room. But just for the redecorating purposes, I'm just gonna make it minimal. One of us, one of us gotta say Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool It was a long four, I think five days, if you count the night that I moved everything out. But here's a final reveal of the room before Mariah comes in and sees it. I am super happy with the way everything turned out and I just absolutely love it. I walk in here every day to feed Richard her fish and every time I open the door, I'm just like, oh, I love this room. I think it's my favorite one in the whole house now. She's been planning this for so long by herself. Look at this. She's been doing this, planning this for her, by herself for so long, and she did it all by herself, almost all pop-up help paint and stuff. 